Hello. 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 Welcome to Mr. Walkington's world. Oh yeah. I don't have the theme song. Moving swiftly on. Welcome back to another tutorial. So this one has been a request, or it's been requested, that I show you how to draw a bee, which is good. It's pretty seasonal as well. So. I did want to just do one tutorial because I was a little bit worried that um, I'd either make it too easy or too hard or too cartoony or not realistic enough. So I've broken it down into three separate mini tutorials within this video. So the first bee we're going to learn to draw is going to be slightly easier and a little bit more cartoony uh, and a little bit more fun. The second one is going to be a little bit more realistic and is going to be an above view of the bee. And then the third one is going to be the hardest one, and it's going to be the most realistic one, which is going to be from the side, and it's also going to be a little bit 3D, so that's going to be a slightly trickier one to do. So yeah, I'm going to get started. Let's get crafting. Right, so our third bee that we're going to have a look at drawing, our third way of drawing a bee, is certainly going to be the hardest out of the three. This is going to be kind of almost a combination between the other two, so it's going to be looking at a bee from a sideways view, so it's going to have to be a little bit 3D, and it's also trying to be a little bit more realistic like the second one. So this one will take a little bit more concentration, a little bit more effort probably to, um, to get right. So do stick with it, and we're going to squeeze it in there. Really. So the way we're going to start, so our first step, like with the other two is with um, a circle so this is going to be our head so however big you make this is how big your bee is going to be so we're going to start with it's pretty much a circle I've made it slightly more oval I keep calling them egg shaped but egg shapes or so this here is going to be our head. Now the next shape is again almost like an oval but slightly more almost triangular. It's a bit of a strange shape here. So here we're going to start and we're going to overlap here and do another oval. Sli probably slightly bigger than the first one. Slightly bigger than the first one. Like that. So the head, top part of the body. Now the next part is quite a strange part to do because it's going to make this sort of a shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with an oval, which is going to overlap this, and it needs to be about as long as these two put together, so about that long. So I'm going to mark here, because that's from there to there, it's about the same as from there to there, roughly. I also sometimes, I was talking about tricks, I also sometimes use my rubber, because if I do this and put a little mark there, that's going to be how long my body wants to be, so I'll go like that, line it up, go about there. But you keep on doing it, you will just get a bit dirty, so it's not always the best way. But if you haven't got a little left and you don't want to measure it and you're struggling with your fingers, sometimes go for your rubber. So, we're going to draw an egg shape. It's going to be the same width as this. So, we're going to curve up until we get in line with this, and then we're going to start turning it into our egg shape. It's a very long same with this side, like so. So that's going to be our second part of the body. And then now is, is the tricky part. So on the other one we just put a triangle on the end. This one we are going to put a triangle on the end again, but the difference is it needs to slope down. So we're trying to make this be this kind of shape trying to follow the 
this kind of shape like that. So, I will draw a line like that to show what sort of shape you're looking for. It's like an L, sorry, not an L, it's like a J on its side, or a J. So it's like a J on its side. And then what we're going to do is from here, we're going to draw a nice curved line to here. So we're making again that sort of triangle shape, but we're trying we're trying to curve the line. So we're going to follow this line until we get to here, and then we're going to curve it down like that. Do the same on the other side. We're going to go to here, and we're not going to curve it in like that. We're going to curve it. This is going to be um, obviously the main part of our body. So I'm now going to go in with the rubber and I'm going to get rid of the lines that I don't need. So I don't want this line across the back because that is all one part of the body. Yeah, I don't want this line here because this is another portion of the body there. And on the front, the head should all be one piece, so we don't want anything overlapping it. Again, if you've rubbed out your line slightly, not a problem. Go back in again. And follow your lines. Because as you draw, you're going to end up rubbing them out a little bit with your hand anyway. Because you'll always use this part here, and it'll always rub out unless you're left-handed. In which case, you can get a little bit more so because you won't be rubbing this side off as much. So, next step is uh, looking at your wings. So your wings are going to be two triangle shapes. So the wings are going to start from the second part of your body here, and they're going to come out this way. Now, they're going to be longer than your body. They're going to come to about here. So I would draw a little line up from your body so you can see where they need to go to and then you need to go a little bit further because we want them to be slightly longer. Yeah? And then we're gonna start our wings here. So, not right next to the head, not right next to the bottom part of the body, somewhere in the middle. Yeah, and a little bit closer to the head than on the body, and not right at the top, but again, I'm a little bit closer to the top and around the bottom, but I am still somewhere in the middle. Starting from here, we're going to draw our triangle this way. Now, what angle you do it at doesn't really matter because it just it would depend how the bee is flying. I'm going to work at this sort of angle and go like that until I reach my line. Now I've got to my line, I'm going to turn it into a triangle. So I'm going to go down like that, and I'm going to join up to here. And that's going to be my first wing. And the one behind, so the one that's on the other side, to do that, all I'm going to do, it needs to be shorter than this one because it's a little bit further away. So actually I'm going to use this line here. And I'm going to start, I'm going to pretend like I'm behind. I'm going to start a little bit higher. So I'm going to leave a little gap. And I'm just going to follow the exact same line until I get to this here. And imagine again that I'm drawing a triangle. I'm not going to finish this triangle because I don't need to. So, you can get rid of these lines now because we definitely don't need those and they're a little bit distracting. I'm going to get rid of that line there. I'm just going to go back over there. That line there is very dark on mine, so I'm just going to get rid of that so you can 
can see that the metal I'm doing now. Okay, so the minute they don't, they don't really look like wings, they do look like triangles, which they are. <coughs> Again, I have to apologise for my voice because it is quite creaky. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over these lines, and like with the other tutorials, we're going to get rid of these corners. We don't have sharp corners on these wings, so we need to make this end curved. So we're going to follow it, and when we get to this end, we're going to curve it. Like that. And then down here, and again, we're going to curve it. Now, this bit isn't quite as simple as on the other one, because we kept this line pretty much straight. Now, we don't want this line to be straight on this wing. We need it to slightly curve. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to follow this line, and when I get to here, I'm just going to curve my line and then meet it back there. So if you see, I have started where the triangle starts and I've ended on the same curve, but I haven't followed the line, I've left a gap. And that's so that we get this nice wing shape instead of a triangle and then we can go in with rubber and get rid of all of this inside the wing go over our wing one more time like that and the wing that's behind is a lot easier because all we're going to do is follow the line and we get to the end we're just going to get rid of the corner, like that, and because we can't see the rest of the wing, we don't need to do anything else with it, go back in with the rubber, get rid of all of our extra lines that we use for corners, and also this line here because this would be behind the bit. So, got two wings, you know, they maybe could have done with been a little bit longer, but I'm not sure too much about it, I still think it'll look okay. If you're doing it, maybe make them ever so slightly longer. I think they can maybe come out of there. In fact, we're going to do it. We're going to do it, we're going to make them a little bit longer. Just because I've made my body a lot longer than I was planning on doing. But, mistakes are all part of drawing and all part of learning, so I'm not worried. We go look in. I'm going to get rid of this little bit now. As you can see, because I've done my lines as soft as possible, it works out pretty well. I don't want that a bit too hard, but that's fine. So we've got two wings now. So wings, body, and now we need to move on to a few of the features. So we're going to go for our eye. Now our eye is going to be towards the back of the head, like this, and it's going to be an oval or an egg shape, depending on what you call it, like so, and it's going to be a bit like that as well, so two ovals. And at the front, we do almost like a little beak shape. It's not a beak, but it's almost like a beak shape. So at the end here, we're going to draw a triangle going facing down a little bit. And then we're going to go in and that's going to follow that curve until we get to the end. And we're going to curve this line as well. go in with our rubber and get rid of these lines again so we don't need them and that will give us our bee's head shape. It does almost look like it's got a bit of a beak and it's that similar shape like so. Now 
we need to add our antennae next. So we can start here. So it's, it's, it's just basically in front of the eye here. Now the antennae, the one on this side, is going to go up like that. And then it's going to curve out to the front like that. And the one that's behind, again, because we're trying to make it a bit more 3D, it's going to follow this, but it's going to go higher. So I haven't gone the same. Then it's going to follow the same line, but it needs to be a little bit longer. Like that. Now, it looks strange at the moment because there's this little line here. But once we've got rid of that line, so we don't want it. It looks like it is behind. It's looking good so far. Now, we need to look at a couple more little features. So on the tail here, I'm going to just turn this into a little bit more. Awesome. I'm going to look at doing the legs. Now, I do think this is quite a tricky part, so it may take you a little bit longer to do this compared to some of the other parts. So we're going to do the two front legs first. Now, they're going to come out just where the head meets this part of the body. Now, the way they're going to come out is they're going to go diagonally down, like this, and then they're going to bend like that, and then there's going to be a tiny look at the end. Now, what we need to do to make this look like an actual leg, so it goes up, down, like that. So it's in little sections these are. So we need to make these twice as thick. So the end there is going to be a slight point. That's going to be twice as thick and a line across because these are sections. Twice as thick and a line across. And then join it up like that. Make sure you've drawn this slightly bigger because it'd be easier for you to show. And the one on the other side is going to come out near the chin here and it's going to just do the same thing. It's going to go to there, into there, into there, and we're going to do that again. So all you're doing is making the leg ever so slightly, ever so slightly thicker and doing it into sections spider's leg when you look at a spider's leg and it's in the sections. So we've got our two front legs and we're going to do our back legs now. So the back two legs on this side are going to start from here. And they're going to go up there. And then we're going to go down. Again, and then a little almost foot on the end. So the end's going to be a triangle with a line across, have a line across there. We're going to do the same again, and all we're doing is just making it thicker. Making it thicker like that. And the third leg on this side come, comes from behind this leg. So it just follows about there and then it goes back down and then a little foot on it again this is going to be a little triangle another line across there to make it thicker and just going over them all so we still need the 
two legs on the other side and they come out at different places so the opposite leg to this comes out here you do a little bit like that a little bit like that a little bit like that so that's going to come out the other side and the opposite leg to this one comes out between these two so it's going to go like that not spending too much time on this this is it's quite a tricky bit um, and it's easier I think to just have a look and try and work it out try and work out where they go if you're struggling to do them like that you could just do them like we've done on our second one and just sort of curve them so legs are on wings are on got our body and we're going to look at our last couple of uh, features that we need to put on it so we again we need to do our veins on our wings definitely and we need to do our stripes on our bee to make it look a bit more like a bee i'm going to go in with the veins first and we're going to do it in a similar way we're going to start from here and we're going to go So, we're going to make that look a bit more like a leaf than a, than a wing. So, we're going to add a line here that's going to go down here. Like that. And hopefully, that's going to have helped. It's looking a little bit better. Again, the pencil's a bit blunt now. And the one on the back, again, just follow the same method. So, onto the stripes. So this part's gonna be yellow, this part's gonna be yellow, and our first stripe is gonna be here. So, we're following that line of the body again. Like so. Next stripe. Right. Now when you get to here, because the body is turning, this side of the stripe should be slightly thinner than that side of the stripe. So it should be like that. And the same on the next one. And then the next one. And the last one should be back to being flat like that. There we go. So the only thing I'd have left to do, personally, is I would go in with a sharp pencil and just go over the lines and neaten them up. Because at the moment it's still quite sketchy. So I'd like to do that before I painted it, if I was going to paint it or coloured it in. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do it on all three of them um, and then we'll have a look at them. Right then, so that's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you've enjoyed learning how to draw a bee and whether or not you've drawn the first one, the second one or the third one or you might even have drawn all of them. Hopefully you've learned something new and you've had fun having a go at drawing some bees. Now, if you have had a go at doing a bee and you'd like to show me it, you could ask your parents to email it to me. There's an email address at the bottom or you could ask them to send me a message with it in be wonderful because I love seeing everyone's drawings. Uh, if you've got any suggestions, once again, if you'd ask your parents, 
they could send me a message with your suggestions for tutorials and as soon as I can I'll get to it and get it uploaded so until next time keep on crafting <laughs>